Treated lumber is a popular building material that plays a key role in the construction of many of our structures in the Pacific Northwest. Our good friend Dennis McWhirter is an expert on pressure treated wood with nearly three decades of experience in the industry. In this series, Dennis provides answers to some common questions and reminds us why treated lumber is one of the best things we can do to help preserve our greatest renewable resource. Basically, we start off with a finished product. We buy from various sawmills in Oregon, Washington, a um, little bit out of Canada, northern Idaho. We buy, you know, two inch, four inch, six inch, you know, dimension. You know, we basically we make treated wood from a two by two up to you know eight by twelve that we stock, and we have over eight hundred and fifty treated skews on the ground. I mean, you think to yourself, gosh, how? How much treated wood is there out there? You know, so um, yeah, we, we do a lot of different things in treated wood, but uh, basically the process is, is all the same. Um, we start out with a raw product. We'll buy from uh, various mills, Weyerhaeuser, uh, Seneca, Simpson, uh, Sierra Pacific. Uh, we start out with a KD product. Okay, so just to give you an idea, you get a sponge and it's full of water. If I pour more water on it, how much chemical or how much water is gonna get into that sponge? Very little. So it's the same process with, with treating a piece of wood. You have to have the moisture content to a certain level before you can put more moisture into it. So <clears throat> what we do is we go out, we buy Katie Doug Fur or Katie Hem Fur products out there in the marketplace and um, we use that to, to treat. Um, on the four inch and larger timbers, all of that's all green. And so what we'll have to do is we run that through the mill, we put it on what we call sticks and air dry it so we can get the moisture content down. Uh, we try to get it down to around, around between 25 and 30% moisture content before we can treat it. And what we do is it goes up and onto a breakdown hoist and we set the whole unit up there and the, the the lumber comes off a row at a time, and the first thing it does is it goes through and it gets incised, you know, and everybody always asks, you know, you know, what's incising? Okay, well, those are those little marks that you see in the pressure treated wood. So what you have is you have four rollers that have kind of basically knife blades on them, and there's two you know, a roller on the top, a roller on the bottom, and then one on each side. And we've, you know, kind of put them down so that when the wood goes through, it puts a, these knife or incise marks on it. After it goes through the incisor, then it gets stained. Uh, the staining process is a clay-based stain. Um, so it's not a, a you know, oil-based stain, it's a clay-based stain, so it's just the old clay and water. And then it goes through, after it comes through the staining booth, then it goes through and it's graded. And like I had talked earlier, depending on the product, depending on the, you know, the lumber, grade of lumber that we're running through, you know, we're pulling anywhere from, you know, five to 17% out. Um, it goes through, each board is flipped over, so somebody has basically turned over every board that goes through our mill. And um, once they turn it over, then there's a mark put on it. Um, it's graded with electronic eye. It goes through a sorting trays. We have 12 different sorting trays that we can sort it into different levels. So just to give you an idea, if I put a arrow this way, that means the other end of that board is bad. And we can cut two foot off of it and make a good board. Or if I have an arrow this way, you know, this end's bad. And we, you know, we sort it into different trays and then once that's sorted, then we'll put it in a big unit. We take it over to the unit saw. We'll just cut two foot off of it, and you know the wood moves on through the treating process. We package in smaller units. That way, the yards get quicker turns. Um, you know, less inventory dollars. You know, at the at the lumber yard level. After it's repackaged, then it's taken over to the treating pad or you know the treating facility. It's loaded into the tube gets 160 pounds of pressure, it gets pressure treated, comes out of the tube, goes off the pad, sits on the pad until it quits dripping, and then we wrap it up and ship it over to our distribution center. Uh, from there, you know, you guys call up, place an order, and we put it on a truck, and we have it to you the next day. <laughs>